Hi guys, this is Nikhil here from the Mumbai Esports Championship uh, 2020 and we are live at Koram Mall Thane and with me is Tanish Mishra, one of our FIFA finalists. Tanish, how are you doing man? Uh, I'm doing great. It has been an ex absolute experience just qualifying the last qualifier and I have been facing some really difficult players and the competitiveness is just amazing. Like I have been really shocking and getting and screamer goals and it has been just out of experience. Okay. So, uh, coming to your grind and uh, how you've been, uh, you know, going about your esports journey, just give me a little insight on those things. So, basically, I started off uh, as an underdog, as a, I was more interested towards skilling. Uh, I started myself off as a skiller, and uh, when I started facing some really tough tournaments, and uh, I have faced a lot of players like Sara and said, I used to meet them. We had a really tough competition and it was an acute difference between us two. But uh, like recently I have been not performing well and then see this FIFA especially I have been really performing well and I have been winning the tournament since then. Um, about that, uh, I guess it depends on person to person. Some of the people are really good at defense, some are really good at attacking. I believe my personal strength is my vision and uh, most of the times I really need to rotate the ball which I certainly do. I really learned a lot about like learned from the players like Saran Jones how to rotate the ball and how to you know just eventually grab the moment. So this has been my strong point over till now. Uh, so are you the kind of uh, the long ball player or are you the tiki taka guy or how is it? So I'm a Barcelona fan itself and I have been playing tiki taka. I really like to you know use one to one and you know just grabbing from the wing, getting inside and you know just humiliating drag back. Those are two contrasting styles. Yeah. So when you talk of the tiki taka you do rely on your one to one. Yes, I do rely on my one to ones but uh, when I really know the difference between when I've been doing tiki taka and the uh, player is on cut passing lines or he's right. on cover center. So I really need to switch my gameplay. This is why I use my wing to get inside because I really need it. So would, you, so would you call yourself a kind of a player who brings in a lot of variation according to the need be or are you just going to stick to your basics and use your strengths and ex explore how things go? First 20 to 30 minutes I just analyze how the game is, where the weak point is, where I actually can you know get inside and strike it. Mm -hmm. But uh, if the defense is really you know just stiff and I am not able to get inside. So the best way to find itself is towards wing because I really I am really good at skill gaps and skills. So I believe step overs and a brilliant of drag backs can actually do the game. So you kind of a flashy, you sound like a flashy player who's just going to bring in his A game and doesn't give a damn about what this opponent is going to do. So on that note, uh, I would just want to know what is your perception about all the participants coming into this uh, finale because we do have a lot of big names, we do have a mixture of uh, the professional lot and the aspiring professional lot. Right. So where would you, you know, evaluate yourself in that entire picture and who do you think is just not good enough? I believe uh, a lot of players are really good, Some I have played uh, with most of them and uh, some are really good at defence and uh, my strong point is that I have a really attacking combination uh, with defence where I actually rotate the ball and I feel that uh, Rithik like we have been facing since Dehradun Ahmedabad and he has been a rival since then. Uh, I guess he's one of the strongest rival because there is an acute difference between me and his core. And we have been following this rivalry since two years right now. Uh, so that's also above that he was in my team first and he left the team for some or the another reason. And uh, this tells uh, like there was sort There's of a kind of a backward scenario in both of y'all because. He kind of took your name, you kind of taking his name. It's going to be yeah. an interesting gig, what say Ankur? Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm looking up for it to be honest. Like, I really wanted Rithik to be in my group, but like, still the odds have played his favour. So, I really odds hope... odds have played his favour? Oh my, the white... <laughs> <laughs> oh my, my. <laughs> so, uh, just coming back uh, to the main context of uh, the entire tournament, uh, you just did mention that uh, you do rely on your tiki-taka skills, you yeah. do rely on your flashy play sets. So, other than that, what is it that's going to get you the big win and what's your take on John T's Yard? Uh, John T's Yard, when I actually heard about the rules itself, so uh, that was really my play style, you know, getting off the keeper, scoring it, possession. So, this is my kind of style. But uh, the only thing that bothers me, like playing too much of rotating the ball can actually, you know, lose it's me the possession. Yeah, well. yeah, it's going to happen to me as well. And I'm really kind of expecting it also. 
there are certain things I will really like to follow regarding my wings and regarding my cover centers. But uh, the jaunties that has been uh, like I have never seen such an experience where I can get actually opportunities of getting shots on target, getting good possession. Right and getting skill moves. Those are the unseen parts. Yeah, the unseen parts. So basically, I feel that uh, that's what decides a player and uh, to be good at everything, uh, be it possession, be it shots on target, be it how you dominate the right, half. Right. And uh, yeah, that's all it is. So just uh, on a personal note, I would just uh, like you to brief, just describe how you feel about Ankur and his little initiative that he keeps on taking every now and then. Yeah. So for I the FIFA have I have been following Ankur uh, since one and a half year, two years, as I started off FIFA late. But uh, I have really been along well and I know he's a national champion. So, like, just, uh, I just met him today and this was my first opportunity to actually, you know, talk to him. He's really a humble person and, you know, the, like, when you see him, it's realize, you just realize that he has an aura. He has a certain confidence in himself, which, acts, you know, which inspires me that, you know, whenever I really would like to be a national champion or want to be in, so I should really feel this confidence and this, you know, humbleness and like the way he is like respecting others and he's down to earth. So I really believe that's excellent and this is how an esport athlete should, you know, spread awareness yeah, about people. Exactly. So let's just say uh, it's down to the final four. What's your take? Who's it going to be? Uh, for me, I think how the scenarios have been going, I think Saranj and Sid could actually be in the top four. Uh, I, I really feel I could be in the semi-finals in the top four, but I'm not just being uh, overconfident about this, but I'm really confident with where I can actually grab my seat. And the third position, I would say it might go towards current Diabolical as we have played and uh, we just, you know, we have the similar kind of gameplay. He also certainly changes his gameplay according to the situation. And he's also more of an attacking player. So I believe like everybody's going to attack in the end. But who's good at attacking? That's what defines. Uh, defense is definitely stiff. But uh, I really believe that the agile player and the way uh, you know people find the skill gap, that's how the player is going to be decided. Seem like a very cutthroat professional. And let's see how things pan out for you. All the very best, Tanishq. Uh, good luck.